Okay, so one of the things I wanna show is anytime that you are evaluating a dog for the first time, the best place to do it is in new, new territory, new ground. Because when you evaluate a dog and they're in their own home, they're king of their castle and that's where they're most comfortable. But I'm gonna be meeting a seven month old puppy, evaluating him for the Northwest Battle Buddies Service Dog Program. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if he's social, if he's confident, if he comes right out of the vehicle, wants to say hi to me, and wants to investigate using his nose to check out the property. Or does he hide behind her? Does he sit back and be cautious? Or even hackle up or bark? So that's what I'm gonna be looking at and we're gonna see it together. Let's go ahead and get him out. You just let him come to me, loosen your line. Well, this is very nice. Very social, happy dog. Certainly not worried about anything. This is exactly what I wanna see. So this is awesome. So, all right, well, I'm gonna just do a few other things with him. So go ahead and we'll have you watch this. I'll take his leash if it's all right. Yep. Okay, thank you so much. This is the first time this dog has ever been on a leash. So that is amazing. And he's just following me. We don't have it. And he's moving forward. I'm gonna let him be out in front and just be courageous. He's gonna sniff around. That's exactly what you wanna see is when a dog goes into a new environment and they use their nose to investigate it. That's what we wanna see. Okay, so one of the things that I like to look for is I wanna make sure that I wanna see what his behavior is between me greeting a dog through the chain link and I wanna see the excitement level when he greets a dog. If it's social, I want him to show interest in that dog and show social behavior, but I also wanna see if there's a hardness or a playfulness. So this is very nice. It's not straight up wagon. It's up a little bit, but, but, but what I'm really liking about what I'm seeing here is that he says hi to the dog, but then he immediately goes to the other sniffs. So there's not an intensity there, just very nice on the softer side social behavior. I wanna make sure my line is loose as they're sitting there sniffing each other through the chain link. Sometimes what you'll see is you'll see reactivity, you'll see hardness, you're gonna see uh, even aggression or fence fighting. Honor, hey, come on. <laughs> this is such a nice, nice dog, huh? Hey, come on, huh? <laughs> Good job. Okay, so one of the other things that I like to do is, I'm just gonna do the stairs with this dog just to see, you know, how he navigates something he's never seen before. And apparently this is a, a red lab and a golden retriever do uh, mixed dog. And when you have a dog that is genetically sound and confident, you don't have to socialize them to get them to handle everything in life. When I see a dog that is confident in his genetics, then he can handle new environments like a champ, just like this dog is doing. And I'm gonna turn this light on. And if he's lived outside, he maybe have never seen stairs before. So we're gonna see, hey, come on. And he, if he's never seen him before, come on, buddy. It doesn't matter because he's just following and he's confident and he's like, that was awesome. So come on. So we are gonna accept this dog into the Northwest Battle Buddies program because what I'm seeing is a confident, social, happy, balanced dog who's been living on a farm his whole life and now he's get to see, and now he's gonna enter five months of professional training and serve an American hero for the rest of his life. So what a great job. So we're super excited for the veteran he's gonna serve and, and I'm, glad, I'm glad I got to share it with you. I know it. Yeah, oh, ow, okay. <laughs> for today's rough recap, some things to remember if you're ever choosing a dog. It's important to observe the dog for the first time in an environment he is not familiar with. Things to look for, social behavior, the dog is using his nose, wagging his tail, saying hi in a very friendly manner, moving forward. Things you don't wanna see is hair raised on their back, tail tucked, aggressive, avoiding, shy behavior. That can be an insecure dog. Keep in mind, it's important right off the bat to make these observations for the best choice for your family. Your dog will never be the dog you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. Have a great day. Till the next lesson, we just thank you so much for listening. We hope you gained some value. And again, your dog will never be what you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. And we just thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.